Assalamu alaikum. What's happening, my sisters and bros? Let me holla at you real slow and ask Allah to forgive your woe and remove your woe and grant you some of that cold hard dough so you can glow while watching episode 6 of this show. That's 6 in Spanish if you already didn't know. With your favorite amigo, Ahmed Ali. Yo, was I too fast for y'all? You want me to repeat in slow mo? But I can't because we're trying to go and see what's trending in today's world. Let's roll. So we are live in the holy city of Karbala. Uh, that freestyle, if you guys want to download that, it's available on iTunes. Uh, but uh, we are live in the holy city of Karbala. One second. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, the news for today is a bit saddening. Uh, the son of God, Ayatollah uh, Sayyid, uh, Sayyid Sadiq uh, Ashirazi, has been uh, arrested by Iranian authority. Um, the supreme religious authority and his son were, were in a car. Um, and as they were driving, two cars uh, from the Iranian government pull up, drag him out, and as they were dragging him out, um, his turban fell, they pushed him, they assaulted him. Um, now, Shirazi followers are holding protests uh, around uh, Iraq and around uh, uh, countries as well uh, to show uh, their disapproval of what happened uh, to uh, Grand Allah's son. Um, now, social media campaigns are also uh, being launched uh, demanding that Sayyid Hussein Shirazi should be released ASAP. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and everyone to join hands in hand, um, you know, to, to end this. Because, you know, honestly, uh, the poor guy was walking around with his dad or in the car with his dad. Now, why do you got to ruin the guy's day? But anyways, you know, we pray to, uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his uh, hasten of his release. Now, what else do we have for you today that's trending in the world? Um, we all love uh, the good old Coke. We don't mean the, you know, the, the Coke, Coke, what, but Coca-Cola right there. Uh, now, Coca-Cola, this Coke, not the other Coke, not the stuff you sniff, the stuff you drink. Anyways, uh, but uh, yeah, so Coca-Cola uh, in Japan, they're trying to launch a alcohol version of Coca-Cola uh, in the same bottle that I just showed you right now. So in this, in this bottle, they're trying to release alcohol in Coke um, with three to eight percent of Coca-Cola, with a, a three to eight percent alcohol in the Coke. And uh, honestly, uh, the senior Coke executive in Japan, he says, uh, this move was a modest experiment uh, for a specific slice of our market. Uh, last time I checked, I don't know what kind of modesty uh, is you know, getting drunk. I don't, I don't remember uh, anywhere the Hal Bayt say uh, modesty and tells you being drunk. But anyways, uh, from now on, I guess we can't buy Coke. This is the last bottle I'm buying for, the, uh, for tonight unless uh, they revoke that. But anyways, let's go check out what's, uh, what today's topic is. College, university, school, education. Some of us enjoy it, others not so much. Some of us take it all the way, others they count down to the last second and can't wait to get over with it. Some just drop out basically after high school or within the first years of university or college. Now we all know that elementary teaches us the normal basics. Um, middle school takes it a step higher. Uh, then we have uh, high school, prepares us for college, and then you have college. Uh, now in college, you become a freshman first year, you know, slack off, parties here and there, uh, all the stuff for Allah, no parties. Uh, except for halal parties, of course, you know, Farhat al-Zahra, the birth of uh, the Imams of Al-Bayt, alayhim as uh, But, you know, no, no haram parties, we don't, we don't, we don't want that. Uh, but, anyway, so when you go to college, um, you plan out your career, you plan out your life. Your new life starts in college, because basically, uh, when you apply for college, um, you're basically giving up your funds. Anyways, we'll get to touch. We'll, we'll get to talk about that. Uh, now, one thing for sure, college isn't free. If I ever told you college was free, it ain't. And you know, some people say there's financial aid, but not everyone qualifies for that. See, and financial aid, they don't just give you money like that. It's a loan. So at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta pay it back some way or another, because you're gonna have the money collective agencies coming running after you if you don't pay that. Um, but if we were to look at 
you know, we can say mashallah about this. You know, some of us actually graduate, knock on wood, alhamdulillah, graduate, get a good job that pays well, IHTV, uh, mashallah, shabakai muqaddas, alhamdulillah, you know, or they graduate and then they go, you know, washing dishes and flipping burgers at McDonald's, uh, although no offense to my, uh, to my brothers and, uh, and friends that, that, that work at Mickey D's, but, you know, uh, this brings us to tonight's question. Is college education worth it? What makes you so sure that you can actually be successful after graduation? Uh, and honestly, sometimes, uh, you know, I, I had that as well when I was in university. You know, sometimes I sat, because, you know, wh when, when you look at the tuition fees and, 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 and the requirements and the stuff you got to pay for university, you sometimes think if, if you just sit there, can you just take the money and spend it and, like, invest it in a company, create a company, make something? Because the big bucks that I'm going to mention soon, they actually shocked me. I never knew I actually had to spend that much uh, just to go through university. Or, you know, we, we have that dream, you know, once we graduate, we're going to get hired uh, in, uh, in, in the best firm. Uh, and get the nice watch that I have on right now, you know, and a fresh ring, uh, fresh two rings uh, that you have right now. You know, you, education, college, and all that gets you fresh stuff. But uh, did, did they actually? I don't know, but uh, we'll get to see. Um, a lot of people claim that uh, college graduates have a higher employment rates, uh, bigger salaries, and more work benefits than high school dropouts or high school graduates. Now, uh, they say that college graduates also have better social skill, longer lives, have healthier children, and have the potential to becoming successful in life. However, on the other hand, we have those who say um, that, you know, when you graduate, you're going to have a lot of debt on your back. And trust me when I say a lot of debt, we're going to come in to know what kind of debts are going to be on our back. Now, a lot of people also say that you don't have to be successful in order to become wealthy you know or you don't have to you know finish university sorry you don't have to finish college in order to become successful we all know that bill gates is a harvard dropout uh, and you know he's 92.5 billion dollars rich this guy is filthy rich 92.5 billion dollars uh, and this guy was a harvard dropout he didn't even finish university or college he just dropped out and makes crazy money now um, but which side are you on are you on the side that says well Ed college education is very good. It's going to get you somewhere. It's going to get you good money. Or are you on the side that says, you know what, why waste my time? Why waste my money? Uh, and all those good, good stuff, um, you know, and, and, and uh, end up working at McDonald's, KFC, or Subway, or Timmy's, or Chuck E. Cheese, or wherever, you know? Uh, but uh, do let us know. Call uh, on uh, the WhatsApp number shown below right now, uh, plus 964-774. 067-1836, that's plus 964-774-067-1836. Or you can send us a message straight on that same number. Or you can go and comment on our live uh, Facebook feed at Imam Hussein 3 tv You can also follow us on Instagram, on Facebook uh, at lnt.show. Now, there was a lot of ads and a lot of following, a lot of comments. Let's hope uh, all of those social media will get you and will, uh, you know, motivate you to call in and let us know what you think about today's topic. Now, today's question is very easy. You know, everyone had to go through education, whether elementary, whether high school, whether uh, middle school, whether high school, whether college or university. Uh, and uh, trust me when I say, big bucks are paid towards universities. Big bucks. Um, but let's go into a very short break and then we'll come back very quick to talk about the fees and all the good stuff that you got to pay for in university. Hey. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, that was a nice toss. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, if you guys liked uh, the freestyle at the beginning, you can comment below to let me know uh, what you guys think. Anyways, yeah, um, so uh, to encourage you guys to call, there's a few facts that a lot of people don't actually know uh, about college fees and university fees. Uh, and the question is right there, is college education worth it? 
call right now at the number shown below or comment or send us a question at the same number um, to let us know what you think. Now, the United States is the world's most popular destination uh, for foreign students, international students, uh, but you got to hold your horses because honestly, before you go and book your tickets uh, for the next summer and you know, trying try to register your classes, uh, you got to know facts on fees uh, and making up your mind whether you actually want to spend that much money uh, and Trust me when I say it doesn't come cheap. As a matter of fact, the U.S. is among the most expensive countries for education, uh, college education. Now, HS, uh, HSBC's 2017, 2017 report, The Value of Education, it says, uh, I quote, higher and higher. The U.S. again emerged as a top choice for parents considering university abroad for their children, but also it's the most expensive, it's one of the most expensive with parents contributing to an average of, let me get a drum roll before I talk about the big bucks. 25 G's. You gotta spend 25 G's of your money in order, and, and, and that's per year, that's, that's not in like two years or three years or four years, that's one year. Now, university or college is four years, depending on your major or minor. So it's, it's four years, 25 Gs in public universities. And private universities, that's to almost 50 grand, 50 Gs, $50,000. Uh, so in, in four years, that's 100 grand if you're paying at public universities. Private universities, that's 200 grand. Add another 100 for you know, the extra two years that maybe you slacked off or you need extra classes or that stuff, 300 thousand dollars now three hundred thousand dollars you can buy a huge house you can buy a nice car you can open up a business invest in a business and you make a lot of money but that goes back to your decision because at the end of the day you have to choose whether education is benefiting you or it's not is it worth it for you is it worth it for you to spend almost a hundred K uh, each year oh sorry uh, 24, okay, um, uh, so uh, 25K a year uh, over the four year spam, that's um, 100K. But we do have a voice note that just came in from Mahmoud. Where's Mahmoud from and what did he say? Salam, my name is Mahmoud from New York. New York. I think college education isn't really worth it because you spend so many years and so much money yet you, you don't get to work in the field you graduated from but on the other hand i think it depends on the faculty you apply for and graduate from like uh, health sciences engineering or art sciences but all in all you're gonna graduate with the crazy debts on your back and then the issue of marriage comes up no one is no one is gonna give his daughter in marriage if you have one hundred thousand dollars plus uh, that's thank you well that's well said oh, I, I mean I, I don't I don't want to you know give credit to everyone has their own opinion but honestly he made a valid point um, you know not saying that education isn't worth it uh, college education is one of the most important things out there but at the same time um, you know he, he made a valid point now the expenses and the debts after uh, education after college education um, you know, you're, you're, you're looking at, as, as Mahmoud from New York said, you're looking at what, 100K of debt, and you gotta pay that, and honestly, uh, that just made marriage a lot harder. Trust me when I say that. Marriage is a lot harder when you have 100K in debt. Um, now, a lot of people think that 25K uh, is, uh, we're, we're excluding the, 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 the tuition uh, or the accommodation or the transportation or the books or the supplies. Um, I'll break it down for you. Tuition uh, is a part of the 25K, uh, uh, and it depends. If you're from that state, um, you're considered uh, a student that pays, uh, th th that's not like an international student or a student out of states, but you're considered and you have a lower fee, tuition fee. For the, for the people coming from outer states, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense right there. That picture makes a lot of sense. Uh, that gown, you know, and, uh, you know, oh well. Wow. All those Benjis, you know, the the the, the good old uh, the good old dough. Anyways, uh, so basically, 
um, for the people that are coming from outside uh, of the state or outside the country, they're almost paying double the amount. Now, you have tuition fees, and then after that, you have uh, your books. And trust me when I say, one of the things that killed me in university were books. Those were expensive. You know, thank God that the books were real sold. Uh, when, when I went to second year, you know, you sell them to the, t to the first years. Uh, and, you know, you're not getting the same amount that you paid for. But I remember paying almost each year. First year, I paid almost 900 to almost $1,100 worth of books. And then second year, uh, the same amount. Uh, I ended up sending all my books for $500. But, you know, and th that right there alone, uh, you see the, 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 the huge margin uh, that people lost. So you have uh, $1,200. Dollars, uh, they say that th th there's, there's an average of twelve hundred, one thousand two hundred fifty dollars at public colleges and one thousand two hundred twenty dollars for book supplies in private colleges. Now we do remind the viewers to call in and answer the question: Is college education worth it? Do you think that you need to spend that much money in order to be successful, or can you spend that money that money somewhere else and be as successful? Number the number you should call is. Plus 964 774 uh, Now, if you do see me laughing uh, randomly, uh, don't think that I'm going mad or crazy, you know. Uh, the guys in the, in the control room uh, do say hilarious stuff and hilarious comments uh, based on what I say. Uh, now, going down the list, after books uh, and after supplies, you have housing, accommodation. Uh, this number is pretty huge. Uh, and that actually looks pretty nice. Uh, that's actually pretty nice. Is, w w was that like a concept room for universities? Uh, no, I'm kidding. There's actually universities that have that. Uh, but uh, in 2017 to 2018 school year, uh, research says that 10,800 public schools to Twelve thousand two hundred and ten dollars in private schools. So public schools, ten grand eight hundred. Private schools, twelve grand two hundred and ten dollars. We do have a call coming in uh, right now. We have a call from Muhammad Musa from Michigan. Yeah. Salamu alaikum. Welcome to the show. Welcome to hashtag LNT. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's a pleasure to uh, discuss with you this really controversial and also uh, annoying uh, topic. Oh, oh, annoying topic. Okay, so tonight's uh, question, uh, you probably already know it. Is college education worth it? What do you think? Personally, I believe it's, uh, it's worth the effort. It's worth the initiative of trying to gain and seek knowledge. I mean, if you can find an opportunity to do that, then go ahead. But Currently, with the um, you know the current uh, way colleges and institutions and private uh, sectors uh, work and, and uh, process how they take in their students and what they uh, demand and requirements and it becomes a headache. I know I know an individual that um, recently graduated from uh, uh, medical school here in uh, U of M uh, Ann Arbor, and he's two hundred thousand dollars in debt. He owes that much. And so, I wow. mean, uh, he told me he was happy to graduate, but it was a bittersweet uh, situation. I mean, now he owes 200 k but he also has to, you know, he, he's, he enjoys the idea that he finished graduating. But at what cost? At what expense? You know, you're now indebted so much that, that even until Imam Mehdi comes out, you'll still have to be paying. I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I like that. Until Imam Mehdi reappears, you got to pay those debts back. Hopefully when he comes, you yeah, know, you can... You, you can uh, paid up for us but yeah thank you very much uh for joining uh, the live show tonight uh for sure. brother uh, muhammad musawi from uh michigan usa uh and honestly uh, a very good point that he mentioned right there is uh, tuition fees are so expensive uh nowadays and honestly uh, when you go to research uh, you find that you know in in, in uh, the early 2000s late 1900s uh when college students used to uh, graduate, uh, yeah, guys, uh, when, when college uh, students used to graduate, uh, firms and companies used to, you know, have fights over the students uh, because they need those, th that manpower in their companies and in their firms. Now, there's an overflow of, of, of uh, graduates. Um, honestly, when I say I know my friends uh, who've worked and still work at Tim Hortons in Canada, 
um, work at KFC, uh, work at uh, sushi places, um, work at McDonald's, KFC, uh, and you name it, Boston Pizza, uh, one of the best. Um, but you know, not they, they, you are making money 100%. But you spent so much money and you worked so hard uh, those four years, uh, yet you're in debt. Is that worth it? Let me know. Let us know if that's worth it. All right. Uh, but if we go down the list even more, um, we got uh, the expenses also uh, that say from last year, uh, they count uh, clothing, uh, transportation, personal items, entertainment, etc. Um, all of them, uh, depending on where you're going to private or uh, public, private, $2,730 at private colleges, 3270 at public universities. But before we continue and look at the big bucks that we're spending, uh, that I spent, this is, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 just, I'm just in awe uh, of my pinky ring and, 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 you know, my fresh wash. Uh, but yes, we do have Dr. Liaqa Takim, okay? Uh, this guy, this professor was uh, actually my, this man was my professor at McMaster University. Uh, so, uh, yes, what does he have to say? Professor Takim, I have been asked to talk about college education. A wise man was once asked why he loved his teachers more than his parents. He said his parents brought him from the skies to the earth, but the teacher took him from the earth to the sky. In other words, education not only educates us, but informs us, and more importantly, nourishes us, nourishes the soul. It is very important for us to understand the significance of college education because without education then we feel empty, we feel sometimes unable to communicate. Of course college education will greatly help us in our pursuit of our career. My advice to anybody who wants to go for education is this, any kind of education. You should pursue what your passion is, what you enjoy studying, what you enjoy reading that way your education will help you and you will actually look forward to it you will not hate studying you will enjoy it so that's the first point secondly make sure that that education is towards a further goal that you have in mind in other words you should decide what you would like to become of course sometimes people change their minds and that is perfectly okay but have a reasonable idea of what you would like to pursue and then structure your education accordingly. There is another point about education that I would like to stress, which is that many a time without education, especially in this world, we are not able to connect with people, to communicate. And education will not only help us communicate, but broaden our horizons, make us more tolerant, make us able to connect with others. And more importantly, make us better human beings because education in today's world especially is not only a matter of a degree or a certificate but more importantly is about humanity many a time I feel that we become less human less outward looking and less um, Islamic in many ways because we do not have the right perspective on things Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor uh, Liaqat Takim. Uh, I felt like I was sitting in your class again. You know, that was so long. Uh, but very, very informative at the same time. Uh, your classes uh, were nice. Uh, we, do, we, we, we do miss you, Dr. Uh, Takim. Hopefully, we see you again uh, very soon. Um, now, when we look at the financial side, uh, I think we have a couple of more minutes left. We have five minutes left uh, to the end of the show. But when we look at the financial side of education and when we go to look at uh, the other um, sides of education. Uh, now, uh, we had a few callers and, and, and a few voice notes saying, <coughs> saying that it depends on how you structure. Dr. Uh, Takim said, it depends on how you structure uh, your vision uh, in education. Uh, if you structure it in a way where it motivates yourself, uh, then you 
will actually have fun in university. Uh, and trust me, you know, I, I went through, you know, difficult times when I say difficult times you know, through university. I thought I wasn't going to make it. But Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, things worked out to the best. Um, you know, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, you just have to motivate yourself and continue motivating yourself. Because honestly, one of the things that we need is motivation. Uh, but with huge numbers like 25K, that's not motivating yourself, bro. That's, that's just, you know, throwing, out, throwing away your money. Uh, you know, Muhammad Hussain, uh, Muhammad uh, Al-Musawi, uh, he said, uh, from Michigan, he said that his friend graduated from medicine school uh, and he's in uh, $200,000 worth of debt. Uh, now, we all know that doctors make a fortune, uh, drive nice cars and have a nice house. Uh, he'll pay that money back. But in, in over how many years, uh, you know, uh, and you know, how, how long will financial aid last uh, for people that maybe cannot pay back the universities? Once I was watching a view, uh, I, I was watching a video, and before I do mention the video, do call in at the number shown below and answer uh, the question or send us a question. Send us a question, Shino. Uh, <laughs> Shino in Arabic means what in English? All right. Uh, s send us a message on WhatsApp. Um, is college education worth it? What do you think? Now, back to the video. Once I saw, I actually saw a video. You can go on YouTube and check this out. Um, uh, a lady, um, she finished university, uh, she finished college in the U.S. working three jobs just to pay off her tuition fee. Three years she worked after university. Uh, she worked, at, I think, KFC or somewhere. Um, she was washing dishes and then she went somewhere else um, to uh, as a cashier and then somewhere else to, you know, to, to work uh, uh, something else and then she has to work three jobs just to pay that. Now, is that the fault of tuition or is that the fault of the economy? We don't really know and I don't want to come to a conclusion because this show uh, will leave the conclusion till the end because uh, this segment is towards you. You have to let me know what you think about college education. All right? Um, so we'll go into a very short break. Let me just, uh, you know, drink some water. Uh, I'm really thirsty. But let me, let, let's just go to a short break, and we'll be back very shortly. Okay. Yeah, welcome back. Hope you, inshallah, uh, enjoyed that short report with hashtag LNT. Um, but uh, we are getting another voice. Uh, voice, not, no, we're getting a, a phone call. Yes, salamun alaikum. Hello, salamun alaikum. Hello, salamun alaikum. Hello, salamun alaikum. Brother Ahmed, this topic is really exhausting and uh, confusing so, at the same time. Can can we get your name and where you're from? Uh, Batul from the USA. Uh, Batul from USA. Okay, Batul from USA. So yeah. this topic is exhausting um, you. Yeah, and it's it's kind of controversial at the same time. Okay. Let us know why. Because I mean, education is necessary, but at the same time, it's not all that necessary. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're looking for, you know, medical purposes, engineering, becoming a lawyer, then yeah, you need the education. But at the same time, it's going to get you into debt. Mm -hmm. But then again, you have, you know, Steve Jobs and uh, Bill Gates who didn't, you know, complete their education, but look at, you know, the businesses that they started and the money that they have. And then we have the problem with if you don't complete your education for men, you know, marriage, a lot of the families won't give their daughters because you know, the guy that's proposing hasn't completed their education. Yes, yes. Now some some so some. It's, of, it's it's really mm -hmm. controversial. It is. It is. It is. I I I agree with you, and I I agree with everyone that that does call in because honestly, everyone has their own opinion, and uh, one of the things that you mentioned. People won't give their daughters away in marriage uh, when you're in debt. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much uh, for joining our show tonight. Sister Batul from uh, the U.S. Thank you very much. Um, now, 
uh, let's go back to see what we have talked about and where we reached right now. So we talked about uh, tuition fees, including your accommodation, your food, uh, your transportation, your books, public universities, you're looking at 25 grand, 25 thousand dollars 25 G's whatever you want to call them you're still paying twenty five thousand dollars you're still being paying big bucks um, private universities and pri private colleges uh, depending if you're a, a, a state student or a foreign or international student uh, you're looking at fifty thousand dollars and I'm not here you know uh, Batul said that this topic is exhausting trust me I've been there done that been there done that you know but uh, at the same time we have to look at ourselves. Is it worth it? At the end of the day, I think it's worth it. Because if we were to look at how Ahlul Bayt looked at education, um, we would be very motivated. And we have to be mo motivated by this. Because honestly, um, if you have a passion towards something, as Professor uh, Takim said, if you have a passion towards something, that, should, that by itself should motivate you uh, to, 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 to make money to be successful. Um, and we keep on going back to money because money is important in that. Anyways, um, so if you're passionate about medical school, you won't let anything stop you. If you're passionate about business, you won't let anything stop you. If you're passionate about economics, if you're passionate about arts, if you're passionate about social sciences, um, you know, therapy, uh, a psychiatrist, uh, you know, uh, a psy in, in psychology, wherever, whatever. Whatever you're passionate about, keep that in your mind and motivate. Keep, keep, keep on reminding yourself. You know, there, there, there's the app that, you know, every day you put in a quote or you put a, a set of quotes. I can't remember what the app is. Uh, I deleted it a while ago because I don't need it anymore. Um, but uh, you, you put a bunch of quotes or it selects a bunch of quote, uh, quotes depending on your mood. Uh, I don't know how it does that, but a lot of people says it does work. Um, so depending on your mood, it just gives you quotes to keep on motivating you. Um, and honestly, you need motivation when you're going through university. University is a lot of st stress, but that's why uh, the percentage of acceptance is very high. Uh, and a lot of money is paid towards it. So you know that when you go through university, you've paid so much money in order to get that diploma or, or to, to get that bachelor's degree. So... It all goes down to you and your decision and how you motivate yourself and how passionate are you towards your goals. Now, Imam Ali Talib alayhi salam, he says, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. I, I just want to repeat that for a sec. Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. Now, we do have a, a WhatsApp message that just came in and I I want to comment on this. Now we have Narjis from the UK. She says, my brother holds a bachelor's in psychology and he is currently unemployed. In his case, I don't think college education is worth it. Why so much negativity? Wow, okay. Uh, not, not to Narjis, thank you very much for you know, sending in the questions. But everyone uh, is saying college education sometimes isn't worth it because of the stuff that you have to pay for. Um, but trust me when I say... Um, if you're passionate about it, if you're passionate about it, then uh, you can motivate yourself and you will make that dough. You will make that, uh, that, that, that money, that moolah. Uh, we do have one last WhatsApp message. Uh, Mustafa from Netherlands, he says, college graduates are more productive as members of society. <laughs> so let me, let me just repeat that. Uh, college graduates are more productive as members of society. Hence, resulting in lower crime rates and better citizenship for more educated people. Okay, okay, so uh, that's a way to look at it. Uh, lower crime rates if you're a graduate. Uh, you know, and, and sometimes, um, this is actually true, because uh, one of my friends, uh, I ran into him a few years ago. Uh, he graduated, he's done. Uh, this guy is high on weed and he drinks or something. So I asked him, like, what's going on, bro? You look, you, you look uh, down. He's like, bro, I got to pay back my fees. I'm like, you're not going to pay it back by weed and, you know, drinking. You got to go and get some work. You know, you got to go and get some money to pay him back. Uh, but 
I want to go back to the hadith of Imam Ali Talib I think, I think we, be, we, yeah, we have one more minute left to conclude with this. Imam Ali bin Talib the commander of the faithful, he says, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. And this makes perfect sense because honestly, it's not, it, it's, it's out of our hands. You know, walk with someone for two weeks, less, 10 days. Walk with someone for 10 days. You're going to, get that habit so right there you're actually getting a bit of knowledge or you're getting some habits okay from the cradle from the cradle you learn how to be compassionate from your mother and from your father depending if they're uh, compassionate and they're passionate towards you uh, and showing you love and mercy uh, and then when you go through education um, that right there you're seeking the knowledge that you need uh, and then to the grave that's it life is done so Ali bin Talib السلام, said it very beautifully uh, and no one could have said it better than Ali bin Talib. He says, seek knowledge from the cradle to the graves. Uh, so basically I advise all the uh, viewers and my brothers and my sisters uh, to you know, continue educating yourself and continue paying those fees and continue paying those bucks because you're going to have to pay it back anyways. Anyways, yeah, all right. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.